Today, I'm going to show you how to make a Lego Antonov AN225 Maria. Hello, my name is Risha and this is my channel Build It With Bricks. Build It With Bricks is all about Legos, where I'll be showing you some of my Lego creations and I'll even be showing you how to build them. Today, I'm going to show you how to build a Lego Antonov AN225 Maria, and I'll even be showing you how to build a Buran Space Shuttle later on, so make sure to stick around till the end. Now let's get started. Building instructions is in the description down below, and parts list is at the end of the video. The Antonov AN-225 Maria was a strategic airlift cargo aircraft designed in the 1980s by the Antonov Design Bureau in Soviet Ukraine. It was originally developed as an enlargement of the Antonov AN-124 to transport Buran-class orbiters, and only one example was ever completed. After the fall of the Soviet Union, the AN-225 was kept in storage for eight years. It was then refurbished and reintroduced into commercial operation with Antonov Airlines, carrying oversized payloads. While a second airframe with a slightly different configuration was partially built, construction was halted more than once due to a lack of funding and interest. This second aircraft was last brought up to 60-70% to completion in 2009. With a maximum takeoff weight of 649 tons, the AN-225 holds several world records, including heaviest aircraft ever built. The AN-225 first flew on 21st December 1988. Two aircraft were ordered, but only one AN-225 was finished. It could carry ultra-heavy and oversized freight weighing up to 250,000 kilograms or 550,000 pounds internally, or 200,000 kilograms or 440,000 pounds on the upper fuselage. Cargo on the upper fuselage can be 70 meters or 230 feet long. Following the collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991 and the cancellation of the Buran program, the long operation AN-225 was placed in storage in 1994. The six Ivchenko Progress engines were removed for use on AN-124s and the second uncompleted AN-225 airframe was also stored. In the 1990s, a cargo liner bigger than the AN-124 was clearly needed. The first AN-225 was restored by 2001. By 2000, the need for an additional AN-225 capacity had become apparent, so, this, so the decision was made in September 2006 to complete the second AN-225. That second airframe was scheduled for completion around 2008, but was subject to delays. By 2009, the aircraft had not been completed and work had been abandoned. The AN-225 was based on the AN-124 with an extended fuselage and extended wings. Two of Chinko Progress D-18D engines were added to the extended wing. The AN-225 had 32 wheels, some of which are steer like its predecessor, the AN-124, the AN-225 had a nose gear that could kneel, so cargo, can, could, so cargo could be easily loaded and unloaded. The AN-225 does not have a rear cargo door and ramp to save weight. It has a twin tail with an oversized, swept-back horizontal stabilizer. The twin tail was, was essential to enable the plane to carry large external loads that would disturb the airflow around a conventional tail. The airlifter holds the absolute world record for an airlifted single-item payload of 189,980 kilograms, or 418,830 pounds, and an airlifted total payload of 253,820 kilograms, or 559,550 pounds. It also transported a payload of 247 kilograms, or 545,000 pounds, on a commercial flight. The higher cost can be... 30,000 US dollars per hour. On 11 August 2009, the heaviest single cargo item ever sent by air freight was loaded onto the AN-225. At 16.23 meters, or 53 feet and 3 inches long, and 4.27 meters, or 14 feet wide, its consignment, a generator for a gas power plant in Romania, along with its loading frame, weighed, it weighed in at a record 189 tons, or 417,000 pounds. On 11 July 2010, the AN-225 carried the world's longest piece of air cargo, 
two 42.1 meters or 138 feet test wind turbine blades from Tianjin, China to Skrydestrip, Denmark. Unfortunately, the aircraft was destroyed on 24th February 2022 during the Battle of Antonov Airport, where it was parked in a hangar undergoing repairs. Buran was the first space plane to be produced as part of the Soviet-Russian Buran program. The Buran program was a Soviet and later Russian reusable spacecraft project that began in 1974 at the Central Aero-Hydrodynamic Institute in Moscow and was formally suspended in 1993. The Buran-class orbiters used the expendable Energia rocket as a launch vehicle. They are generally treated as a Soviet equivalent of the United States Space Shuttle. Buran completed one uncurved flight in 1988 and was destroyed in the 2002 collapse of its storage hangar. The only orbital launch of a Buran-class orbiter, 1K1, first orbiter, first flight, occurred on 15th November 1988 from Baikonur Cosmodrome launch pad 11037. The mass of Buran is quoted as 62 tons with a maximum payload of 30 tons for a total liftoff weight of 105 tons. It is 36.37 meters or 119.3 feet long and has a wingspan of 23.92 meters or 78.5 feet. In June 1989, Buran, carried on the back of a, the Antonov AN-225, took part in the 1989 Paris Air Show at Le Broguet Airport. I hope you liked this video. Remember to keep your Legos safe and out of reach of young children and pets. And share your ideas in the comment section down below. And I'll see you next time.